<sighs> okay, so let us talk about how I've gained every bit of Mora in the game up until now throughout the countless days, eight or nine, um, at Adventure Rank 34 as a free-to-play player. And we have um, a little over 2 million gold. We have uh, three weapons leveled up, so a lot of gold invested in those. We have level 60 characters between main character Lisa and Shang Ling, as well as some artifacts that are leveled up to 16. Um, Lisa's artifacts leveled up 12, 12, 16, 16. We have a lot of artifacts leveled up, a lot of investment, you know, as you can see. And we still have... We still have uh, 2 million gold, so let's talk about everything, every place that I've used, every resource in order to gain gold. First, as a disclaimer, when you're out of all these other resources, the big main spot to actually get consistent gold would be the Leyline Blossom of Wealth, but I would like to throw in a disclaimer and say that I have not used this Blossom of Wealth not once during my playthrough. Um, it's better to use it later on because there's other sources to get gold and you can save 20 resin for only getting 36k gold. Maybe I'm about to, I'm about to world level up from 34 to uh, adventuring 35 and go from world level 3 to 4 and we'll get like maybe 48,000 gold, you know? It's, it's worth a lot more later on, especially when there's a lot of gold laying around early game. Alright, so first and foremost, I feel like the number, first and foremost... Let's just say that a good source for gold, believe it or not, is going around and getting chests. All that gold adds up. I don't know how much gold you get per chest, maybe like a thousand or something, but all that adds up. Look at my Mondstadt chest count. We have 426 chests. We have uh, 885 in Liyue. We, we've already surpassed the achievement of 800. So chests would be number one. Go around, collect those chests, just like Primo Gems and everything else. All that tiny bit adds up. Number two, I would say, coming to Liyue Harbor down here, above the souvenir shop, and running up the stairs, there is a Northland Bank here, which you can access. And upon entering, we'll head over to the right side, up the stairs, and there should be a chest lying right here that'll give you 200,000 gold. And it hasn't respawned yet for me, so I'm assuming it's a one-time grab. Another source of gold would be maxing out your Statues of the Seven. So if you are going around in Liyue and you are collecting these Geoculus, once you fully max out your Statue of the Seven to level 10, you'll be receiving quest items. Um, and one of those quest items that you'll be receiving is a Stone of Remembrance, up to nine total. And you're going to be using those Stone of Remembrance on these pillars. These pillars, there's nine of them located around this area. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And after inserting all nine stones, you will gain access to this little dungeon cave. Um, you'll loot, fight bosses or enemies. You'll get a dull ring. So it, it's part of the quest. You'll get a dull ring. And then you head back to Liyue Harbor. There will be two people selling it. One of them is selling it for 180,000 gold. And the other person is selling it for 200,000 gold. So... There you go. You can pick whichever one you want. The, the guy selling it for 180,000 gold, by the way, will give you five of these. So it'll be 180,000 gold with five of these Adept Adeptus's Temptation. Or you can choose just a flat out 200,000 gold. Also, something very small for gold source, which hasn't been much, is just the battle pass. Eventually, I'll get some gold. I've gotten 16,000 three times throughout the battle pass. But as you are collecting those chests around the map and leveling up your statues, you're gonna be receiving some sigils, um, Animo Sigil or Geo Sigil, depending on which region you're in. And if you head over to the souvenir shop, which uh, you can buy out the entire souvenir shop, so you should, we can trade in these sigils for Mora. So if I trade in all 224 of my sigils for 1600 gold each, that's 358,000 gold just for me going around and getting those chests. And those chests will be giving you gold as well. So you're getting gold and sigils, and you can trade those sigils later on. The souvenir shop, again, does not reset, so you can spend your leftover more, or you can spend your leftover sigils on the, um, the Mora, and you don't have to worry about it. 
The last thing would be the Spiral Abyss, east side of Mondstadt at Musk Reef. Coming into the Spiral Abyss and uh, getting three stars, six stars, or nine stars on each floor. You can click this treasure chest, which will give you 15,000 more at three stars, 20,000 here, and 25,000 there. All of that adds up. As you can see, we've collected each and every one of those four, four, one through five um, for a little bit of more as well. These are one-time grabs. Four, one through eight does not reset, um, but four, nine through 12 does twice a week. I would also like to include one more thing, um, these chapters. Um, just clear your chapters and keeping up to date on them. You get 5,000 gold here, so 10,000 total. Uh, 10,000 as well, so that's what, 20,000 for completing chapter 1. You get 15,000 here for completing chapter 2. 20,000 on top of 15,000 more. There's gold that is in the investigation, the, uh, the experience tab in your adventurer's handbook that'll help out as well. That's also where some of my gold source has come from. Um, and last but not least, if you desperately want some gold, you could always send your characters out on expedition for gold. 20 hours is 5,000. I personally have not done this once. Normally, I send my expedition members out for crystals. Noel's on an expedition for crystals. Bennett, Kaya, I always send them out on expeditions, but, I, but then I have um, Amber for food because I have some other plans that I want to do later on in the game with food. But yeah, if you need some gold, you can always send uh, some characters out for expedition on gold. You can get 10,000 there if you send two characters out. I think, there we go, 15. 15k every 12 hours. If you need some gold, you can also do that. But other than that, I think that's it. Um, At least those were all the ways that I've gained gold throughout the game as a free-to-play with 2 million while still being able to level up all my artifacts to like 16. We have a bunch of 16 artifacts here. Um, level 60 weapons, three level 60 characters and stuff like that. And we haven't done the Leyline Outcrop or Mora, not a single time. I'll probably do it a few times because gold revolves around everything in this game. And I will need to rely on the, uh, the Outcrop. But it's been nice that I haven't needed to do it at all this entire game because of how much gold you can get from different sources. So instead of farming this... For uh, 36,000 gold for only 20 resin, I'll be able to adventure rank up and then possibly get like 48,000 or 50,000, uh, which will be more gold for my resin worth. But I hope this was informative for you guys. Um, and I hope to see you guys next time.